ever since Steve Irwin was killed, unfortunately, by a stingray, I think people are thinking more about stingrays and the potential dangers there. So what's the deal with stingrays? How dangerous are they? And uh, I understand just from talking to you the other day that you were recently stung by a stingray, so what's going on there? I was. Um, stingrays have anywhere from one to four stingers on the back of their tail, and so usually the way people get stung is they're walking through the sand, because they're in the shallow water, sometimes buried in the sand, and they will step on the back of them, and just as a protective mechanism, the tail comes up, and usually people get stung in the top of the foot, the ankle, the bottom of the foot. Uh, but there are reports, and Steve Irwin's not the only one, of actually having stingers go into the abdomen or into the chest, um, and in Steve Irwin's case, the stinger actually punctured his heart. So what should uh, snorkelers, swimmers do to avoid, or at least mitigate, the, the hazard? Well, the best thing is when you're walking at the beach in the surf is to shuffle your feet, because then you create the vibration and move the sand, and the stingray will know you're coming, and it'll move out of the way rather than stepping on top of them. Same thing with surfing or paddle boarding. When you jump off the board, sometimes you will jump right on a stingray which is what happened to me when I was paddle boarding this New Year's Day. Um, first time, La Jolla Shores, and uh, been in the water a lot, seen a lot of stingrays, never been stung, but jumped off the paddle board, and sure enough, bam, it got me just right at the ankle. Was it, was it as painful as you had always imagined it would be? It is painful, and that's part of the venom, is it causes um, bleeding and then uh, pretty good pain that usually peaks at about 30 to 60 minutes, and then um, over the next few hours goes away. Heat is the number one treatment because heat will destroy the toxin or the protein. It'll break it down. And so if you put your foot in a bucket of hot water, almost instantly it feels better and the pain starts to uh, relieve. So can we see your sting? Sure. You see it right on the inside of my ankle, right there. I still have a scar. Do stingray stings then just get better on their own or is there anything that could complicate the sting that people need to worry about? The majority of the time they do just fine, but if a piece of stinger or the sheath that covers the stinger is left inside the wound, then you can get an infection and the area would become swollen, hot, red, painful, and in that case then the person needs to seek medical attention and get put on antibiotics because uh, they probably have an infection or cellulitis that is set up in that area. How did yours do? You know, it did fine for the first couple days and then um, a week later Right before I was leaving for Fiji, the whole ankle swelled up, got red, got hot, and I had to take antibiotics for it. And it ended up doing just fine after that. Do you know any good doctors? Um, I had to call a few friends. 